everyone. The Montreal Canadiens are mired in a pretty bad slump. They are right now 11-9-5. They've fallen to 6th in the Atlantic. They take on the Philadelphia Flyers, who are 14-7-5 and 3rd and in the Atlantic. So they are, have a better record. They're playing better. They've won their last three games. Uh, I'm recording this Friday night. Uh, they beat Detroit 6-1. So, again, we're playing competition that's ahead of us. We're mired in a horrible slump. I don't know what needs to be done to, to, um, to get out of this. What they've done is they've called up, I don't know his first name, Olofsson. I don't know if it's Kristoff or Jacob Olofsson. Uh, he's a six foot three left shot defenseman. I believe he has a goal and nine assists in Laval. Apparently he's playing very well. They called him up. He should be in the lineup. I would think if they've called him up, he'll be in the lineup against Philadelphia. Now, remember, they play Philadelphia at 3 o'clock. So if you're going to watch the game, it's at 3 o'clock tomorrow. So that's Saturday. If you're watching it Saturday, it's 3 o'clock today. Um, they also have back-to-back -back games, so they're playing Sunday at 7 o'clock. But they're facing Philadelphia, who will be on back-to-back -back games. So hopefully this will give Montreal an edge. Um, I'm going to give you my quick thoughts about it and what I think gonna, they need to do, what I think might be the score, and all of that. And that's right here, Talk at Habs, home of Habs Hockey, where everything's dedicated to the Habs and all things hockey. So if you like this video or if you want to see more of these kind of videos, hit the, 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 hit the subscribe button down below. And the notifications bell, and that's going to get you your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge. And while you're at it, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And you can leave any comments. What do you think the score is going to be? What do you think the Montreal might, or what they need to do to break out of this slump? And you can do that in the comment section down below. So, what does Montreal need to do here? Honestly, I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. I don't think they've, I don't think Julian's lost the room. So I don't think that's the problem here. The problem is they're playing. Uh, what's the word you want to use for it? They're just they're playing horribly defensively. Uh, they look like a, a junior, freaking B team out there on defense. So, you know, funny thing here, I'm looking at Twitter, thinking of stuff or looking for information. You know, maybe possibly about the game, and I come across this article that somebody retweeted saying, "Claude Julian fired by Montreal." I look closer. And they're saying he's being replaced by Ganey and talking about Carbon. I'm going, what the hell is going on? I realize it's from 2006. I almost did a video on it. Thank God I read the story. So I don't think Julian's getting fired right now. I really, I don't, because I don't think he's lost the room. Apparently he has, uh, I saw another story where it says he has the exact plan how to get out of it. Montreal has to buy into it. his plan to get them out of this slump. If they don't do that, Problems will ensue. Well, problems are already ensuing because this defense is bad. Um, in the last game against um, New Jersey, three goals against by th on three different plays by left side defensemen who pinched in and got caught and gave up an odd man rush. So the left side's not performing well. We know the left side's been a problem. Everyone's talking about Taylor Hall and this and that to fix the front and the offense, but the offense is firing pretty good. Our problem here isn't really the offense. we got to fix that, that back-end problem, and I guess he's trying by calling up uh, Olofsson. Is it going to be enough? I kind of doubt it. I mean, it's another rookie. I don't know if a rookie defenseman is going to be the answer, but, I mean, it might plug a hole for now while he tries to make some kind of a move. And I would think he's going to have to. Bergevin is going to have to make some kind of a move here on uh, defense because the defense just doesn't cut it. It doesn't cut it for a junior team, I think. You know, there's something wrong. The defense didn't look... I mean, it's been a, the biggest problem probably this year. It has been the defense, the penalty kill. These have been the biggest problem. Penalty kill is last in the league. Our defense is pretty close to last in the league. Uh, uh, you know, goals against is like... Oh, I think over, it's probably close to four now uh, a game. It's moved right up. It's probably past three and a half goals a game because they were close to three and a half goals a game a couple games ago. And they got eight goals against, well, first of all, six by the Rangers, eight by uh, Boston, and then six again by um, New Jersey. It's just it's ridiculous. Think of that. That's 20 goals in three games. So, Carey Price needs to right himself. 
This is a problem too. Carey Price has not been himself. I can't blame everything on Carey Price though. That's for sure. The defense has left him alone pretty much too. And you know, anytime, no matter how good your goalie is, I'm sorry, no matter how good your goalie is, if you leave him alone to all those odd man rushes where he's back and forth, you know, in his net, he can't make the stops. Granted, a couple of the goals were bad against the uh, uh, Rangers, Boston, and New Jersey. You can fault him on that. But so many of them, you can't. You can't. He was just left alone to his own devices, and it doesn't work in the NHL especially. There's talk about Primo coming up. I don't think so. You really want Primo? His first year as a professional, he's got 11 games in. You think he's the answer? Yeah, it happened once before. Patrick Waugh pretty much did that. Ken Dryden came up as a rookie, and it was fantastic. But you really want to count on that? I don't think so. Besides, if it doesn't work, you ruin Primo. If Carey Price at 32 years old might be on the downswing of his career, this is possible. He's 32. It's possible we're seeing now the beginning of the downswing of Carey Price's career. If that's the case, you don't want to ruin Primo here because you're going to need Primo in the next year or two. To fill, to you know, you want him to be down in Laval, getting those starts, getting ready to to take over. If Carey Price is on his decline, Primo's the guy you want. So you don't want to ruin him this year. I don't know what the answer is. I don't think Lindgren is the answer, but that might be what you have to do. Give Carey Price a break. You bring up Lindgren. You let uh, Kincaid and Lindgren play five games, not five games each, but you give Price maybe a break. I don't know. I don't know what the solution is. Honestly, I don't. Uh, if I did, maybe I'd be the coach. Someone said I should be the coach. I got a comment that said I should be the coach of the of the Habs. They'd do better. No, they wouldn't do better if I was the coach of the Habs, that's for sure. So I'm not looking like for any kind of stupid solution like that. And personally, I don't think Julian should be fired yet. When there's signs for sure that he's lost the room, you got to fire a coach for that. And by the way, speaking of coaches being fired, and I don't know if he got fired, but... Just a quick follow-up since I'm talking about this. Bill Peters was either either resigned from Calgary or he was fired. Just to throw that in. I didn't want to make a video on that. I'm also thinking of this uh, while we're doing a video. I mean, this is a preview. What am I gonna? What's the preview? They gotta play better. I, I guess this is my keys to victory. I'll finish the video probably. My keys to victory. They have to play better defense. If they can play decently on defense, they have enough offense. The offense is firing just fine. They, they got to play better defense. So keys to victory, play better defense. G Carey Price, stop the damn puck. There we go. Keys to victory. What's the score going to be tomorrow against Philadelphia? On, honestly, can't take Montreal here. Can't. And they're probably going to win. They're probably going to But I can't take Montreal here. I have to go with Philadelphia. And uh, I've got to say 6-3. Uh, I mean, I don't know what to say. Uh, it's a stupid prediction. Philadelphia's probably not going to win here. They play, they're play. they playing Friday night. Yes, they beat uh, Detroit 6-1, to one, so maybe that's going to give Montreal an edge. But the way Montreal's playing, can you call a game and say Montreal's going to win a game? You can't right now. So I'm not doing that. I'm going to try that old thing where I call for the other team and Montreal wins. So I'm saying 6-3 for Philadelphia. Montreal has to, if they want to win this game, they got to come out and play freaking hockey for 60 minutes on defense. And maybe then, if they play defense, Carey Price can make some saves because he won't be left alone. There, I ranted a little bit, so there, I ranted. Ever, you happy now? You guys happy you got me to rant? See, see, see what happens? Okay, so um, basically that's it. I don't know what else to say about it. I just pray, I don't, I don't believe God. I, don't, I, don't, I pray that they're going to be better tomorrow. That's it. What can you do? The way they're playing now, you can't. Nothing's guaranteed. You can't figure anything's going to happen specifically. And uh, they're going to. There's going to be a hockey game. That's about it. Going to be a hockey game. What's going to happen? I don't know. So there you go. So there's my, there's my preview for the game. Something's going to happen in the game. Hopefully Montreal wins. Okay. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Head down there. You can subscribe and ring the notifications bell, and that's going to get you more videos like this from me and give you your daily fix of blue blanc rouge. From Talking Habs. Okay, so uh, I will be on the air tomorrow, right? Not right after the game, but 7 o'clock. So the game starts at 3. So anybody still here watching? Game starts at 3. I'm not going on before because I'm going to get my flu shot. And uh, I'm going to have trouble getting there, getting it done, and getting back in time. So 
Um, I'm not going to go on the air before the game, but I will go on at 7 o'clock. It'll be a little bit after the game. I'm going to do my review, and then I'm going to go on. We'll talk about it. We'll see what happens. And maybe there'll be more news tomorrow. This is Friday that I'm, I'm recording it, so I could wake up in the morning and they fired Julian or they trade, made a big trade. I don't know. We'll talk about that. If there's something big like that, I'm going to make a video about it. But we'll definitely talk about it after the game. So thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for listening to me just babble. Didn't even know if I would be able to do a video. For I almost forgot to do this video. I can't really do one in the morning. Don't have time. I'm getting ready to take the dog out and get ready for bed and everything. And go, oh my God, I got to do a video. So I didn't really prepare. I just figured I'd talk and I'm talking. And now I can't even stop talking. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up. And go Habs go. And I'll see you tomorrow at the game. Bye, y'all.